In this video, I will show you how to use Google Whisk to combine different images and elements together into something new. And this is part of the Google Labs FX project. Let's get started. So here I am on labs.google forward slash FX. And I've signed into my Google account and I get access to all of these kind of experimental tools. Hopefully you've already watched my video on image FX, but let's take a look at Whisk in this particular video. So I'm going to click launch Whisk and it takes me to a screen that is a little confusing at first. I've got a plush dinosaur here, and the reason it's there is because of this option, make a plushie. I could change that to make an enamel pin or make a sticker, but let's stick with plushie to start with. And next, I just need to drop an image in here. How about an image of Ariana Grande from Wicked? And now Google Whisk is trying to combine these two images into a plushie. And it did kind of work. Next, I can click to open it in the tool. And this gives me some other options. I kind of like this one better, actually. And so I can now download this image and I have it on my computer. Now, if I reset this by clicking the refresh button, I want you to see that instead of making a plushie, I could have made an enamel sticker. I'll drop an image in. And this time we'll get another character from Wicked. And let's combine these two ideas together to create a pin. I can then open it in the tool and this turned out amazing. I can download that to my computer. There it is. Let's refresh again. So similarly, I could create a sticker, but I want you to see, instead of just going with these options that we have here, you can start with your own image. So I'm gonna start with the image of Ariana Grande, and I can now click and drag and drop her here, but you can also drag any of these other images if you want to try those out. These are just kind of sample images that you can try. How about a donut? And there we go. Now, if you want to take Google Whisk even further, you can click Start from Scratch. And that takes you to a screen where you can start to add some elements. So this time I want to add both of the actors that I've used as examples in this video. So I'll start by clicking upload image and let's get the first actor in there and then I'll click to add more. I want another subject. I'll upload an image of the other actor. So now I have two. And then what if I want a third, but I don't have an image for the third subject for this image I'm creating. I can just click add more subject. And instead of uploading an image, I can describe what I want here. So I would like a flying monkey. Click generate and Google Whisk is using AI to generate a flying monkey. That's not exactly what I had in mind, but let's go with it. Next, what is the scene that these three subjects will be in? I could upload an image or I could describe the image. Okay, so I've got part of it here, a beautiful meadow with a river running through it. And then I'll put majestic mountains in the background, generate. Okay, and next I can specify the style. I could upload an image to show the style that I want or I could describe it. How about comic book style? Let's try that. Now, while Google Whisk is working on that, we're going to specify additional details. Let's say one of the subjects is holding a broom and another is holding an ice cream cone. I don't know, kind of random, but let's try it. So now I'll click this button to generate the combined images. So Google Whisk now is combining all of these different elements into one. So it's going to be comic book style. It's going to have characters similar to these. we got a flying monkey and we've got got a character holding an ice cream cone, actually two, and a broom. There's the river that I asked for, the meadow, the majestic mountains. If I click on one of these images, it gets a little bigger and you can see the prompting that went into creating this AI image. I like the monkey in this one a little better. Notice that if I want to adjust the image, I can. I can go into the prompt itself and change up some of the details and then click generate. Also, notice that you can refine what you have. So I like what I have here, but I want the sun is visible in the sky. The ice cream is melting. How about that? So let's click to add those elements. And as with a lot of AI, it didn't do exactly what I asked for. I don't see the sun, but notice that the ice cream cone is melting a bit. If I'm happy with this, I can click the download button to put a copy of this image on my computer. 
So right now, Google Whisk is basically an AI experiment, but I see lots of uses for this in the classroom, for hobbyists. It's a great way to do some storytelling, to practice language use, to demonstrate understanding of concepts in all sorts of different subject areas. Now notice, any work that you do in Google Whisk gets saved in your library. So when you go to my library, it will show the projects that you have created, and not just in Google Whisk, but you can change this to see other related AI tools and the work that you've done in them. So I hope you found Google Whisk to be intriguing. I hope you'll check it out. In the meantime, I hope you found this video to be helpful. And if you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support the channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could also support me through my Patreon account. You could click the thanks button below the video, or you could buy channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video.